Hi guys, this is Nikita Net, and on the bench today are two backup batteries. The smaller sibling of the pair we took a look at in a previous video, so let's talk about the bigger one. And let's get started. Now for on the road I've been using this smaller Lab 31 4400 milliamp hours to great success. Its fit and function suits me very nicely, but there's a small little problem with this thing and let's turn it around and look at the sticker. Its output is 5 volt 1 amp, right? There's one out port on the top of the thing, of course an input and a little light and of course the indicators. But let's take a look at the bigger sibling of the pair. And uh, we have to look at the bottom and turn it around of course so you can read it. It states output 5 volt 2 amp and 5 volt 1 amp because this power supply is not only 6000 milliamp power, it also has two outputs USB 2A and USB 1A and if you've got uh, more power demanding devices like tablets and smartphones or at least certain smartphones you might be interested in the 2 amp 5 volt output. Uh, the input is of course here, the little light is here and let's turn the unit on. Uh, it shows you the charged state. It also has this nice little light which is very functionally normally except of course under these lighting circumstances. And let's turn that light off which is handy as well. But if you've got more power hungry devices the 2 amp output is very handy. Though there's an issue with this backup battery and I most likely will blame that on the USB chargers which I'm using to charge these backup batteries. Huh? USB chargers from yesteryear have a lower amperage output which means that with this bigger battery uh, it will take more time to charge. And in my experience, my personal experience, uh, this becomes a nuisance when you basically just want to charge and go, right? Uh, 6000 milliamp hours in regards to, well, 4400 milliamp hours doesn't seem a big difference, but with this uh, pair of siblings, the bigger battery, in my experience at least, does take quite a bit longer to charge than the 4400 milliamp hours. Fit and finish. Well, with the packaging, you get a leaflet which instructs you in the usage of the backup battery. Uh, you get the packaging, of course, which is nice and sturdy for a blister package. And you get, of course, this nice little USB cable, little quote unquote, which is unwieldy. Why I personally recommend getting a smaller cable to use in the field. Huh? Putting this long cable away every time becomes a hassle and Basically, if your bag is big enough, you can keep this cable, or a smaller cable, I should say, attached without much issue, hopefully at least. Huh? But fit and finish is nice, though personally I would rather use two of the smaller versions. Um, in heft, yes, the bigger battery is a little bit uh, heavier by my estimation at this point in time in front of the camera, but the smaller battery is just a little bit more petite and handier to tuck away in a small pocket of your camera bag or even your, well, your jacket or something like that without, of course, the big cable, but when using a small cable, just so you know. So, would I recommend the big battery? At the moment I would. If you need the 2 amp uh, 5 volt output, uh, the USB type output for your device, this will suit you very nicely. Though, for my personal usage, uh, I like the smaller ones better. That's just it. They're just more handy and they take less time to charge, right? So, either 6000 or 4400, which means in essence more power, huh? 8800 milliamps, well, I would go for two of these. Uh, though, it's a nice battery, I won't deny it. And it's been used with a full satisfaction, which is of course very important. Right, so this is Nikita Nat saying, I hope you found this video interesting. Like or dislike this video, at your pleasure of course, subscribe to the channel and, uh, well, 
See you in the next video. Bye-bye.